Right guys, bonus dollars, good afternoon. Hope everyone's okay enjoying this beautiful weather in Argentina. And right now I'm in a train station that is called Acasuso. You guys can't really see, but it's the train tracks, how the train tracks look like in Argentina. And today's video is basically, I will be going to a random area in the city. I'm gonna meet up with an Argentinian YouTuber slash um, photographer. Uh, we've been talking on Instagram, we've been networking, and he's going to show me around a, uh, an area that I've not been to. So I'm going to take the train from Acasuso all the way to Belgrano, Belgrano C, and that is the train line that is going towards Retiro, towards the La Ciudad. And then from Belgrano C, that's where you come off and, you, and if you want to go to visit Chinatown. And then from there, I'm going to walk to an area that is not far from Bisha, Bisha Crespo, unless I'm wrong. So basically, this is Black Man the Traveller. Um, going to a random area in the La Ciudad. I'm going to explore um, a random area in Buenos Aires. Join me in this adventure. Hopefully the video will be interesting. If it's not, I apologize, but it's a daily blog. It's not a travel blog. See you guys soon, as soon as I come off at Belgrano Sea. Ciao. Right. What's going on guys? Just made it to Belgrano, and this is where Chinatown is in Buenos Aires. I will be coming here tomorrow to make a video. I've been here before, so I will be coming here tomorrow to make a video for YouTube to show you guys what Chinatown's like. But that's Chinatown in Argentina. I don't know how the heck that there is a Chinatown in Argentina, which I find a bit interesting. I find it very, 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 very interesting. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this address where I'm meant to be going. But what, I, first of all, I'm gonna flip the camera and show you guys actually, it's very interesting, this Chinatown. Because I've been to this Chinatown twice, about two years ago, I've been to Argentina. So I'm going to flip the camera and show you guys exactly um, what I'm talking about. So this is the Chinatown over here. And um, it's not that, that, that big. So it starts from here and I think it goes parallel all the way down the road over there. So um, I'm gonna go to um, where I'm meant to be going to meet up with this guy. It's about a 10 minute walk to, I think, Visha Crespo or Visha Akuz or something like that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna carry on walking and I'm gonna discover um, this burial that I'm meant to be going to. So the video will continue as soon as I get to meet up with this guy. And hopefully, yeah, see you guys soon. Black Mother Traveler, it's a daily vlog. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo se llama? Lautaro. What? Amigo, uh, explain where we are. Which barrio is this? Uh, in English? No, no, in Spanish, if you want. In Spanish Perfecto. or English. Okay. Eh, esta es la calle Melian. Mm -hmm. Es una de las calles más, más lindas de acá de, de Belgrano, de la capital. Hay un montón de casas grandes, eh, se vive muy tranquilo, hay mucha vegetación. Y, y de noche parece como que no es parte de la capital o de lo que se conoce como capital porque Hay mucho ruido generalmente en lo que es microcentro y demás y acá es como muy tranquilo, muy residencial y nada, muy lindo para caminar, como van a poder ver. And this, and this barrio over here, is it one of the most uh, muy caro, wealthiest uh, barrios in Buenos Aires? Eh, sí, es uno de los más caros junto con Recoleta, Capaz. Uh -huh. eh, bueno, se ve también la magnitud de las casas, no, no debe ser nada barato la mantención y eso, pero sí es uno de los más caros junto con Recoleta. Fucking massive. Look at this. This is like an old Victorian type of English house over here. It's like a... Man, guys, if you guys see the sizes of these houses, are fucking massive. I feel like I'm in Beverly Hills in Buenos Aires. This is like a massive old Victorian house. And um, is this the whole of this calle, the casas, or the whole barrio? Uh, this is the... O sea, esta es la principal atracción, digamos, uh -huh. de la calle esta. Okay. Después, más en las calles intermedias, hay otras casas que son bastante lindas. Hay mucha embajada también, que ahora vamos a, a, a conocer. Pero, pero sí, esta es como la calle. Además, por los árboles, ahora si querés cruzamos y vemos cómo se ven los árboles. Y todo oh, eso. so it's parallel. Claro. Oh, ok. Como muy pintoresca. Fucking okay, hell. Getting a tour by local Argentinian. It's very, very interesting. And vende? What is that? Rent? Or rent? Sell, vend. Uh, to, to, to buy? Yes. Okay. Do you have your wallet here? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't have enough money, guys. <laughs> don't worry, hopefully. By the time I make some money, I can buy a house in Argentina. And look at this. Look at this one. And I want to ask you, why in Argentina? 
all the numbers of the calle are named after famous people or uh, countries, la ciudad, ¿por qué? La verdad que me mataste, yo creo que lo, lo de gente famosa es a modo de, de homenaje, capaz hace algunos próceres y esas cosas, como también están en los billetes y en las monedas, pero no sé, creo que hay tantas calles que ya llega un momento que no sabes qué nombre ponerle y decís, bueno, vamos a ponerle sí, Melian. Mira, vení, vamos a ver acá lo de los árboles. Oh my god, look at the size of this calle, amigo. Fuck yeah, no. Porque la vista es hermosa. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. Sí. And how much you think? Um, ¿Cuánto dólares o pounds you think it's, it cost to comprar a casa acá in this in this barrio? Comprar? Sí. No, no sabría decir eh, varios dólares. Varios dólares. Si sí, no solo la compra, sino la mantención también. Porque se supone sí. que si compras una casa acá también puedes mantenerla, digamos. Porque que, que esté todo verde, que esté todo lindo, también tiene mucha seguridad. Vas a ver que hay un montón de cámaras, hay cercos eléctricos, hay todo. Y... No solo es comprarla, sino mantenerla, pero no, no. No tengo magnitud de lo que puede salir una casa acá. This, guys, is just madness. I'm going to continue this video as soon as we get to another calle. But this is, um, this is very interesting. You know, I've seen um, two types of uh, lifestyle in, uh, in Buenos Aires. I've been to the Visha and I've seen how people live over there. And I've been to probably one of the wealthiest neighborhoods in Buenos Aires. And you can see that there's so much poverty and there's so much wealth in this country. And it's such a shame that the gap between the rich and the poor is so massive. But this is just crazy. Look at this, like a Spanish type of villa. <laughs> Acá. Y es tranquilo, ¿viste? Muy tranquilo. Mucha gente, tranquilo. Very relaxing. Mira, esa se vende también. So this is sell. Podemos comprarla. The numbers over there. If anybody wants to uh, buy a casa, the numbers right over there. You can call them up, <laughs> and you can you can live in probably one of the richest neighborhoods in uh, Buenos Aires. I will continue this video as soon as we get to another calle, so you guys can see. Oh, this is like uh, the retail. Wow, let's see the prices. This, this is in uh, dollars or pesos? Dollars. Alquiler, no compra. To rent? To rent. 339,000. Oh, to buy? Yes, to buy. $700,000. Four bathrooms and four uh, bedrooms, yeah? Yes. Bathrooms, seven bedrooms. What is this? Seven. Uh, this is the deposit. Deposit. No, expense. Thousand. La por mes tenés que pagar eso. Okay. O sea, son sesenta y nueve mil pesos. ¿Qué es lo que te digo de la mantención y eso? Sesenta y nueve mil pesos por mes de expense. Okay. For expenses. Okay. Uh, <laughs> very interesting. Very expensive. That's all I can say. Uh, you need to have a very, very big pocket to live in this type of barrio, and you need to have a, a very good job to be able to live over here. Michael Antonio Jose de Socorro. Mariscal Antonio Jose de Socorro. Famous? No, no sé quién es. No sé. Wow, look at this fucking man, man. The Beverly Hills of Buenos Aires, guys. I thought Recoleta was a very nice neighborhood, but this place is... It's quiet, <sighs> Dan Recoleta. It's very... Man, this is something else. Private security. You guys can see over here, just to enter this. This is probably like an apartment. Una escuela. Apartmento? Uh, school. School? Oh, oh. Wow. Oh, look, English high school. Nice job. Oh, to buy? To rent. To rent. Verde is to buy. <laughs> no, no, no creo que tenga ningún... Oh, no sé. Fue suerte, fue suerte. Wow. Well, let me continue this video as soon as I get to another street and show you guys probably one of the most wealthiest neighborhoods in Buenos Aires. So right now, guys, we're in another part of this neighborhood. Just look at this. This, the size of this house is just phenomenal. Like it is, it's massive, guys. It's, it's, 
It's a fucking massive house. I feel like I'm somewhere in in bloody Chelsea or somewhere in Mayfair. And if you guys see this, like the sizes of this house, it's incredible. I'm in one of the most wealthiest neighborhoods in Buenos Aires. And this is just amazing. Thanks by this geese over here. I really appreciate this tour. This is just amazing guys. Like it's just, it's crazy, you know? I mean, it's just, it's, it's massive. This house is probably, can, you could probably fit apartments inside this building. But to know that one person lives over here, it's just, it's, it's, it's loco, amigo. Because imagine you have so much plata, in my opinion, have a, a, a nice casa, but not so grande. Yeah, but they, well, like, what are you going to do with all this space? Cuánta gente vive ahí. Man, <laughs> like, what, what can you do with all that space? You, you don't have, you don't have a muy grande familia, ¿entendés? Sí, sí, sí. For me, dos, dos para, o tres rooms is, it's okay. Y para limpiarla te la regalo. For clean. Man, this is it's madness. And I realize everything about Argentina is um, whenever you go to some nice neighborhoods, they've got security guards over here. So these are kind of security guards protect protect the barrio? Eh, sí, y es como un o sea, en cada, en, no, no en todas las esquinas, pero cada tanto hay mm -hmm. garitas de seguridad que están conectadas entre sí por el tema de la seguridad. Okay. Eh, también estas expensas o esas cosas que vos ves que paga más la gente uh -huh. es porque también mantienen lo que es la seguridad, la limpieza y todo ese tipo de cosas. Okay, no. It's madness. This is another Avida, another calle. A Avenida Forest. Avenida Forest. If anybody's watching this video and that lives in Buenos Aires. Let me know if you live around here. We can come to your casa and we can drink some mate, okay? Por favor, comment in the video. That's a nice Victorian house as well. The houses in, in, um, in Argentina are very similar to the houses in England. Made up of bricks, but the architecture are just way, way, way more different. And one thing yo um, me gusta about Buenos Aires, mucho green. It's very green. Sí, sí uh, depende del lugar donde vayas, pero sí. Por eso también es muy valorado esto, que las veredas son anchas, que hay mucho verde, mucho árbol, sí. mucha planta. Sí, sí. That's one thing I like about Capaz en Capital haber tanto edificio. Sí, muy grande de, building. Claro, para ver un poco de verde tenés que ir a una plaza o algo de eso y acá lo tenés acá. Sí. Y se respira un aire más natural, digamos. Amazing, guys. Another interesting thing about Buenos Aires, the roads, it's like you're in Italy. You know, the cable stones, like ah, in Paris. Adoquín. Sí, sí. Si. It's like sometimes... Que te rompe todos los autos. Sometimes, yo. Oh, Pero que pintoresco, too pintoresco. Loud. Sometimes when, you're, when, you, when you walk on the streets... Hopefully you guys can hear me, but when you walk in the streets in Buenos Aires, the streets over here, it looks like you're in uh, Paris, or maybe it looks like that you're somewhere in Italy. Very interesting. And acá is the end of the... Of this street. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, yeah. This is not hood vlogs, this is uh, rich vlogs. It's similar to London. See, the building. Wow. Continue this video soon. Guys, look at the size of this house over here. Fucking massive, it's just massive. So residential, like, it's literally phenomenal. Man, it's madness. You guys see the amount of, 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 of the sizes of these houses are here. It's just crazy, look at that. How many people do you guys think live in these type of houses over here? I mean, it's just, it's just it's crazy. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> how, many, how many people do you think live in these type of houses. I mean, it's just the amount of stuff that you see in this neighborhood. And it's very tranquilo. It's very, very calm. It's, 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 it's so calm. It's so relaxing. It's just crazy, you know? Right, look at this house as well. The amount of money that people have around here, you know, it just goes to show you know, the type of um, equality that people have. And acá, is there any chorros, any robbery or no? Acá, o más o menos? 
No, capaz que al haber tanta seguridad se reduce un poco el tema de los robos, pero robo sí. hay como en cualquier lado. Sí. Capaz son robos más, más enfocados, más... Sí. Me dijeron que acá, como, capaz no tanto te robo y me voy corriendo por una cuestión de que hay un montón de garitas, pero sí, robos capaz más organizados a las casas. Pero te hablo desde... Muy tranquilo. Sí, muy tranquilo. So he's saying that there is robbers, but there's not too much robbers around here. You just have to be, uh, you just have to be careful when you see, because I see one thing, especially on the news. I don't like to watch the news, but they come in dos in two pairs, one driving, and the second one behind uh -huh. on the moto and moto chorro. Moto chorro. Sí, sí, sí. I've seen that a lot, but um, you just have to, you have to be careful. You've got a Ford, English, English. Uh, American type of car over here. That's an interesting house. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's very. Me canta this one. This one's nice. It's different. Yes. The paint, the colors, it's it's amazing. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's Black Man the Traveler. I'm going to end this video over here right now, exploring one of the most wealthiest neighborhoods. ¿Cómo se llama el el barrio? Belgrano. 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 Sí. Okay, so we're in Belgrano, my amigo. You can say hasta luego o whatever hasta you like. Hasta luego, miren el video y coméntenlo. <laughs> Gracias. ¿Cuál es la casa que más le gustó? <laughs> you heard what he said. I'm going to put his, um, his information in the description of the video. It's Blackman the Traveler. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Chao, chao. Stay hydrated. It's summertime.